Congratulations, Namibia. We've finally done it. We're just like any other corrupt, broke African country, and we couldn't get it right. With just over 2 million people, we still managed to end up right here. I really don't like what I see on the political landscape, both internationally and on this, my beloved continent. But I also know that everything that goes down must get back up. So I live in hope. Anywho, on to the stories of the week. A recent newspaper report stated that 700 million Namibian dollars of government pensioners' money invested by the government institution's pension fund, the GIPF, into Steinhoff International, which has come under disrepute and dubbed one of the biggest cases of corporate fraud in the history of South African business, is at risk. I spoke to the director of the African Labor and Human Rights Center, August Maletsky, who has followed the GIPF scandal where millions just vanished into thin air for some time. Well, I think, first and foremost, one must appreciate the fact that the Government Institutional Pension Fund is the chief custodian of funds that belong to people that retired, orphans, widowers, widows, and the physically infirm. This is not money that belongs to wealthy millionaires investing in private companies or private portfolios for heavy returns. This is money meant to take care of those vulnerable people at retirement, after retirement, when they become physically infirm to perform their ordinary duties, widows, widowers and orphans. So yes, it is important that this money is taken proper care of. Uh, we were made to believe that the government initiated some sort of action against the trustees or those people that derived millions from the government institutions pension fund about 10, 15 years ago when the founding father was in charge. I mean, the period that went by ever since this issue became known to you and me, members of the public, is frightening. The action that was taken is totally disproportionate to what the public outcry was and the inflection of time that is at stake. We are talking about billions of dollars. Publicly, the amount is about 600 million. That's what they acknowledged. 600 million, 15, 20 years ago, is a, amounts to about 1,800 billion today. Imagine what Namibia can do with that money. It can sponsor our national budget for three consecutive years, amongst others. Now, private individuals in this country, right? pocketed that money. The Steinhoff investment what in South Africa is just a teachy little bit of it. The publicity that goes with retrieving the money that went to South Africa is equivalent to the kicks of a dying horse. What I'm telling you is stop fooling members of the public with silly attempts to retrieve monies from Steinhaus and what. What about Namibian judges, Namibian public figures, Namibian companies who largely stole and enjoyed from about 90% of the 600, 700 million dollars that was given from the development portfolio of the government institutions pension fund to them? You smell that? Ricks of corruption. To make matters worse, the position of the, mind you, not principal officer as with other pension funds, but the CEO's position was never advertised. The CEO, the former founding president's cousin who is in charge of the, of the government institution's pension fund, forget about the, the politics of his, of his public relations officers, that yes, GIPF is sound and what, what can be sound of the GIPF if $1,800 million is missing for the past 15, 20 years? Why would the International Monetary Fund come up and say that the institution is not sound? It is a vulnerable financial institution and that pensioners, the, the physically infirm, the most vulnerable members of society should be worried about the investments made by the Government Institutions Pension Fund. When will the Government Institutions Pension Fund, the trustees thereof, take decisive and meaningful action? The position was never advertised. Someone was handpicked to simply man that position. Why? To be the gatekeeper? and to make sure that certain information doesn't, is, not, is, not, is, is not leaking out to members of the public.